Hey guys, this is Frank Socorro from SAE, and I'm about to show you my top 10 picks for beginner user shortcuts in Pro Tools. All right, guys, so here are the top 10 Pro Tools shortcuts for beginners. So usually, um, you know, you, you open up your Pro Tools session and there's just a couple of things that you should know how to do uh, so that you can move efficiently through your session. Uh, the first one clearly is the create a new track command, which is shift command N. Uh, that command will pull up this pop-up window, which will allow you to select the type of track that you're going to use, as well uh, as whether it's mono or stereo. Now, once you have selected that, you can type in the number of tracks you're going to create and then hit create, and it'll create a new track. Uh, but uh, recently, Pro Tools has added a function to this, which makes this even uh, quicker. So in here in the gray area, if you want to make a new audio track by holding the command key and double clicking here, you also create an audio track. If you hold the option key or alt key and double click in here, you create an instrument track. If you hold control and double click in here, you get an aux track and holding shift and double clicking in the gray area will create a master track. So there are uh, those are the first five I wanted to show you. Uh, so the next ones I want to show you are some basic editing ones uh, that can make your life uh, a little bit easier. So the first one I want to show you uh, with command focus mode on, which is this little box right here, is uh, uh, edit to insertion point, which it means basically if I put my cursor here and hit the letter A, it will trim the beginning of my uh, clip to where I added my insertion point. Uh, the same thing also works in reverse with the letter S. So by clicking the letter S, I can trim all the ends off until my insertion point on my track. Okay. Uh, now, once you've created your edits, and I'll just create a quick edit here. Once you've created your edits and you want to clean them up, uh, I want to show you the quick keys for fades. Uh, so now again, with the command focus mode enabled on, uh, you can put your cursor at the end of a track and type the letter G. G creates a fade out. The letter D will create a fade in. And if you have an edit between two tracks, you can actually highlight and press the letter F and that will create a crossfade. And that sums up my 10 uh, must know quick keys for Pro Tools for beginners. All right, guys, so there is the top 10 picks for beginner user shortcuts in Pro Tools. I hope you enjoy those. And for more videos like this, you can reach us at sae.edu.